Oh, 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 this could be a good one. Oh, boys, what? What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mindac Outdoors. Woke up a little bit early today. I'm back for the holidays in Brookings, South Dakota I'm with Sam. And we're making the old stop at good old, you can see it. This is Casey's right here. Casey's right here. Kind of a morning tradition here, you know, as it is on this channel and with, with Flair, if you guys watch him. But today, Sam and I are gonna be doing kind of a little cool video for you guys. We're doing a live versus artificial uh, video for you guys. I'm gonna be using artificial and Sam's gonna be using live bait. We got minnows and I'll, you know, I'll just show you guys what we're using once we get to the lake. But the lake we're going to, I've been here a few times before this year already. This is actually the first lake we went to uh, for the very first ice fishing video of this year. And we're actually gonna be trying to catch some perch today. Uh, there's walleye in there too, I believe, but we're gonna see what we can do with artificial versus live bait. Before we begin today's video, just wanna say super, 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 super thank you for hitting 10K. By this time, we would have uh, 10K subscribers and it's been a long journey. I never thought we'd be here. We made it and it's all thanks to you guys. Uh, really appreciate you guys watching the videos, uh, supporting the channel. And you know, if you haven't already, go down and hit the subscribe button so you just can watch all of our videos. Never thought it'd be possible. Again, thanks for the 10K, you guys are awesome. But gonna get some gas right now, go get some food, and then rip on over to the lake. All right, so we got Clemisha all set up, and I just wanna show you guys the setup. If you guys been watching our videos, that's what I like to do, show you guys what we're doing before we start fishing. Uh, we're fishing in about, what, five? Five feet of water. We've got two holes right here, myself and Sam over there. I am gonna be using artificial today. I'm gonna be using this little lipless right here. This is a size three rip and wrap right now. And Sam is going to be using just a little, what is that, a Swedish, Swedish pimple. pimple it's got some good flash down there. Or it's a little looks like you got some waxies on there yep. too. So he'll probably switch from waxies to minnow, to heads. minnow heads and stuff like that. Mistake number one for the day is I forgot my SD card. So we only have one GoPro on this camera. Um, and that's kind of a problem because usually we run both of our GoPros. But what we're gonna do, Sam's on. What we're gonna do is I'm going to let Sam use the GoPro for about like eh, 20 minutes or so. Once that like 15, 20 minutes is over, we're gonna switch the GoPro over to me and I'm gonna use it for like 15 or like 20 minutes or so. We're just gonna see how each bait does, but uh, let's get to it. Ooh, oh. Oh, nice. That's these. Okay. Well, Sam's okay. on the board, that's cool. Alright guys, this is my fish right here. Just a little SD perch. Probably about around the 5 inch range. Probably. Pretty small. It's still marking fish. So I'm going to drop him back down and uh, get back down there. Nice. Oh, that's a good one. Buddy came up out of nowhere. I raised him. We'll get two feet. We'll put him back down in John Holes here. And that's mm. just disrespectful. Alright guys, I probably cut around like three to four fish probably. Nothing too big yet, but uh, we're working on that. There we go. But, uh, here's another one. It's a little guy. Not bad. Uh, we're going back down in the hole. There she goes. Finds her way out. Alright, there she goes. Drop back down real quick. Try and get on another fish. Look at that. Already? Seconds. Gosh dang, dude. The live bait's murking right now. I haven't even caught a fish yet. Dude. It's a little bit. I didn't even get to jig that one, dude. I dropped down and it's just dead weight. Okay. Dude, no way you're just mucking right now. What the actual? <laughs> you're just wrecking. This school is insane, huh? Oh god, yeah. Wow. I'm gonna see how many I can get here, boys. Oh, snap, boys. Oh, what's up? Chill. Ah, first Mine is fish. still bigger. Oh. What's up? Well, this is what's still going? this is still my first fish, though, on the, on the old artificial. So Sam's caught, like, probably, like, I don't know, like, close to nine or ten yeah. fish. Your boy finally caught one, and it's about the size of the bait. All right, well, the whole 15 minutes of Sam's uh, glory days are over. Your boy is back. 
If you guys enjoyed uh, Sam's little thingy there, you know, drop a comment down below. Just kidding, he's ugly. But anyways, you guys saw the live bait was absolutely murky. And within that 15 minutes, Sam probably caught like close to 10, 11 fish there. And I caught one, legit caught one fish. But now that I have the GoPro, I ain't messing around. I'm trying to show you guys what's up with the old artificial. Today we're using a size three uh, Rapala rip and wrap right here. Not a bad one. This kind of like imitates a little shad. It looks pretty good. Colors I got on this is mostly silver with a little hint of gold on the top there on the dorsal and an orange lip right there if you guys can see that but not a bad looking bait right here i think the main issue is these fish are you know they're gonna be a little bit finicky to this bait just because it's a little bit bigger than sam's presentation and obviously i don't have the scent that sam has so what i have an advantage in is i can probably siphon out the smaller fish and catch a little bit of bigger size with this because bigger bait equals bigger fish you know in theory so like i said i'm just gonna use this for about 15 minutes or so and see what's up uh hope i can catch some fish if i don't <laughs> sam just caught a fish and tried throwing it in my hole and it jumped back out but yeah like i said i'm gonna use this for about 15 minutes and see what i can make happen if i can't really catch any fish with this i honestly might have to tip this with some wax worms but i want to do this as raw as possible and just use the artificial and see how it goes oh boys oh what's up stay oh oh dude chill oh oh I've never freaked over about like a 20, a two inch perch in my life before. I've just freaked for that. Well, home slices. This is the first fish you guys actually saw me catch. I was sitting in about eh, three and a half feet of water, honestly. And this guy just showed out of nowhere and hammered it. So this was an aggressive one, but this is my first fish that I've caught on film. This is my second of the day. Like I said, numbers are going to be probably minimal for me because live bait mucks. But this is just a good start for you old Johnny boy. See you later, guy. You nervous, bro? You nervous, bro? All right, so I'm not marking any fish right now. I'm just going to show you guys kind of a little tip on what you can do to entice fish or just, you know, kill time if you're just not catching anything. I got this tip from my buddy Clayton Schick outdoors. Uh, well, we're not really buddies. I don't even know if he knows me, but shout out to Clayton. But what you got to do here is drop your bait down all to the old bottom here. You know, let's sit on the bottom. And what you want to do is just kind of stir up that sediment and whatever's down there and get the, get the people going down there. Basically, just kind of stirring up everything, making some commotion, and that's going to kind of entice the fish to come into the area and whack your bait um i've actually seen some underwater footage where people are pounding the bottom and like sediment and like dirt just flying up and the fish are actually trying to hit it while that is happening but you know you just want to pound the bottom for a little bit mix everything up and then kind of just you know bring it back up another like foot or whatever you're jigging at and see if that helps you guys catch any fish uh if you guys like the tips drop a comment down below and let me know uh i don't know much about ice fishing so you probably shouldn't listen to me if you're listening to me but yeah that just ruined my credibility statement there pretty you yeah know. I know. Uh, okay well yeah i'm just telling you guys what other people told me okay you guys get the point well i can't like catch any fish but sam just caught a decent perch right here boys this is this one's if this is gonna focus yeah this is actually a good one this one's probably eh, it's not as fat as i thought it was but like it's decently long it's probably around 11 11 or 10 and a half so this is the biggest perch of the day so far but Wow, live bait is absolutely killing the game. So what I might do is I might put little wax worms on my hooks just to catch some fish, just because I'm kind of itching to catch some. But uh, yeah, Sam, that's a nice fish, bud. All right, so I tip Buddy with a few waxies and I'm gonna drop down and see if this is a difference maker. Just see if this can, you know, entice the fish a little bit more and bring some scent in and see if I can catch some fish. Really hoping so because I'm getting annoyed watching Sam catch a bunch of fish and me not catch anything. So. That's how it usually goes. Anyway. No, that's not how it usually goes. It's usually the opposite, actually. Oh yeah. Ooh. Decent fish. Decent fish. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay, guys. Immediately, first drop, I go down with the tipped, like, hook. And what do you what do you know? Caught the biggest perch of the day for me. Look at that. As soon as I drop down. As soon as I drop down with a little bit of live bait muck the biggest fish of the day for me not like a complete giant but compared to everything else i've caught today this is the biggest that's a good eater if we were keeping fish oh oh wrong way bud wrong no no this way this way which way that way see ya all right dropping back down with the deadly combo and i immediately have fish on me already i'm like confident to say that the wax worm like is the the game changer right now the live bait is doing it dirty as soon as I added uh, the old live bait, started catching more fish. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. 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 Okay. Okay. So what? This is what I'm kind of. Okay, guys. This is not a bad fish. Not Chill. Chill. Look how we ate that. That is like that's wanting it. Oh yeah. There's look Sam's little guy. Every fish that I've caught so far, well, I've only caught two. They've been bigger. I've noticed that they've been bigger. This is a good eater. This is definitely nine. And you know what they say? If they're nine, they dine. So this would be a keeper if we were keeping fish. And I'm thinking that that bigger profile bait with the live bait is just the ticket to catch bigger fish. So uh, that's a good tip for you guys if you guys are uh, trying to catch more fish but want to weed out the smaller ones. Upsize your bait but still put a little bit of live bait on there. That seems to be the ticket today, folks. All right, guys. Thank you for letting me catch you. Thank you. See ya. Oh, 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 this could be a good one. Oh, boys. What? What? This is, dude, this is, I'm, this is the ticket. Guys, the pattern keeps continuing. My bigger bait with some live bait has been smashing the bigger ones. This one's the biggest of the day for me. This one's dang near 10, maybe pushing 10 and a half, close to 11. But, and this is, this is a fat, chunky one too. Like this one is a very good eater if we were keeping fish. But dude, we... We're on the juice now, boys. We're on the hoof. Gosh dang, son. I should have done this earlier. See ya. See ya. Dude. That's lit. Ooh. Oh. Look, another decent... Dude, another decent another one. Either, yeah. That is... Okay, guys. That's the last fish of the day for me. But... I finally figured out the trick to this whole live bait, artificial bait thing. Like I said, just another quality eater. This is a good nine or so, but we'll let him go. See you later. But I think Sam and I are going to pack up Clemisha and go back to the car. And I'll talk to you guys once we get to the car and just like do a little recap on what happened today. Well, Sam and I just got done packing everything up and now we're back on the road, gonna drive home. What did you guys think of today's video? Drop a comment down below and let me know, are you more of an artificial guy or are you more of a live bait kind of guy? Clearly, live bait absolutely destroyed today. The live bait was the game changer. Um, if like the challenge, you could say Sam won that because the live bait absolutely marked. He probably caught like close to 17 fish. I probably only caught like eight. But I will say, when I added the live bait to the artificial bait, I, I was catching bigger fish. Okay. I guess what you can take away from that is live bait mucks. Um, it's always gonna be a good like go-to if you know if you're having a little bit of struggle or something like that It's always a good go-to But if you are fishing a place where there's smaller fish like flare size uh, Maybe you can upsize your bait using a, an artificial bait like I was using that rip and wrap But add just a little bit of live bait to it and you should weed out the smaller ones to catch the bigger ones Essentially while we're on the ice today. I actually looked at my phone. We hit 10,000 subscribers officially So thank you very much everybody who's been supporting the channels over the year uh, we've been going hard probably for like two years now ish or so and it's it means a lot to me and all the other guys at Mindac uh, I know you guys already probably heard the whole 10,000 spiel from Cody but I just wanted to let you guys know I really appreciate all of you and each and every single one of you yeah uh, it means a lot to me that's where we're gonna end today's video if you want to check out any of our Mindac gear like this this hat right here or that sweatshirt right there. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to go check it out. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. <laughs>